always and forever like heat wave you already snow if you like what i'm doing on this channel feel free to send me a cash app donation i appreciate it keep that commissary chunky you heard if you're looking for that saint lads and pottersfield music go on my patreon i got hundreds and hundreds of songs or go on my gem pop music page subscribe to my new gem pop music page you feel me for them exclusive videos and songs yeah and make sure you check that new street novel about the drop tale of a raw life you feel what i'm saying Psh, heavy things in the works with that heavy things in the works but that's gonna be on all platforms make sure you get you a copy you're tell them z-man sent you too z-man suicide polo with the ski man that is brownsville brooklyn dykeman 200 block we in the building like a smoke alarm system you're Let's get it. As soon as I get the comp stop from fixing the nigga at Woodburn, they got a riot going on with the Jamaicans, between the Jamaicans and the Latin Kings. I'm walking around the yard. I'm like, well, it's um like 80 degrees. Why these motherfuckers got army jackets on? You could come in with a light bed and then wind up in there like homeboy that I was in Woodburn with, um, uh, uh, Willie Bosket. He started out, he got a book out. Anybody can look that shit up. Willie Bosket, I think he came in with a three to something, but he banged on COs. Now he, he, he come out, he in the box. I went in the box in, in Woodburn. You know what I'm saying? I had a chin check, so I did Woodburn. I wind up going in the box, and he in the box with a fiberglass, fiberglass cell, because he be shitting the C, um the COs down. He threw some. Matter of fact, they had the metal hot pots, and you could convert them to fry chicken and fry uh, Jack Mac. Anybody been up north know what Jack Mac is, and uh, but if they catch the pot and they do a search, they call it contraband. The main thing is he went in there with a three to something and now he come out the box like 2047 and got triple light. Hmm. So once all his cells, he got three cells lined up. And how I know that, once again, I'm the barber. So when I go to cut the dude head, that shit, um, what's that shit that in, in the movies? Animal lecture, how they had the dude's hands strapped down and all that shit when he come out the cell and the, they, they shut the tail down. Yeah. That's the same shit they do with the dude, Willie Bosky. They get a haircut, strap his hands down. They put the shit around his face so he can't spit on you. And I'm like, wow, that's deep, man. And he was like, yo, my beef ain't with y'all, bro. My beef ain't with y'all. My beef is with these motherfucking crackers. So oh, man, yeah, man, them, them mountains, man, and that jail shit, man, this is why I take experiences like that, bro, and I say never again, dudes say never again, and they hate when I say if I have to go through that shit again, man, I'd rather hold court in the street and not allow a motherfucking judge to determine how I'm gonna spend the rest of my life, besides the fact I got them three them three jump offs, you know what I'm saying, on a, on a, on a, on a, um, on paper, the three felonies, the three violent felonies. So you already know they're not gonna play with me. And the district attorney is gonna amp shit up so that um they lose you in there. To me, that shit is like equivalent to death. They gonna, they gonna um, mourn you for a moment and put you on a t shirt and talk about how they loved you and all that. But the next month, life goes on. The same shit in prison. They gonna accept the calls for a minute unless you got a real one. And you know, you, if you get somebody to lick a stamp through the, through the um, duration of your bid and you come back out to the, to, to the free world and you shit on that person or you don't show them love, that's what you gonna face. You gonna face karma the next time around. So man, you know, my whole shit is, 
always say let the rest of your life be the best of your life that shit is supposed to be something that you go through they say corrections but i don't know what the fuck they corrected it's up to you to correct yourself man like me coming through when i when i came through and i did my stretch i ain't really have a whole lot of um, issues you know what i'm saying but it was one issue in elmira with brownsville against um brownsville against buffalo buffalo syracuse and rochester that shit was crazy yeah the buffalo shit was um what it was in elmira the basketball tournaments and you used to have dudes i block was called i ran i was in g block once again i was a barber so g block you want to get to g block because it's not a cell it's like a door that closed so in elmira when motherfuckers want to rob your shit and you go to rec run and a nigga stay behind and you want to rob your shit they call it fishing Mm. Motherfucker, a fish, and you come back, and your whole shit is gone. You will see a nigga in the, in the yard with your army coat, and niggas know what the army coats look like, even though everybody got one. You know what your shit look like, cause you might mark it in, in, in a certain way, but it depends on, like, if the cat that got it, and he ain't thorough, and the nigga that took it, he thorough. He ain't asking for that shit back. So Elmira, so what happened was um the dude from Van Dyke named Freedom. I ain't played basketball. I was on some workout shit and on some boxer shit and hitting the bag and all that. I ain't I ain't do all of that um basketball shit. I ain't I ain't do that. But anyway, um Yeah, they lost No, they didn't lose Uptown. They was playing uh 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 was it Rochester? Matter of fact, my bad. It wasn't even Rochester, Syracuse, and Buffalo dudes. It was Uptown dudes. You know how them cats from Harlem always talking about they got a fucking mansion in the yacht. So if you see a nigga from Brooklyn fucking with a dude from Uptown, especially over there at that time, or from Brownsville, and he fucking with a dude from Uptown, he fucking with a dude from Buffalo, he fucking with a dude from another borough, nine times out of ten, he's squeezing. You know what I'm talking about, squeezing, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you, yo, listen, you going, you going, you coming back off the visit with that thing, like my nigga Rashawn, he was there. Same dude with Slick Rick, he funny dude. He used to have motherfuckers push the shit out their ass with the doodle still on it. <laughs> it, up north you talking about on the island no on up north yeah. niggas still got motherfuckers see him in the armory see him in the armory and they be ducking on the first go back now all of a sudden you acting like you in the phone because in Elmira they got booths the phone booth so you can go in the phone booth and close the booth so that way your family can hear you man man so many stories man bro that, that shit up north man that jail shit man I said, wow. Little powerful, rest in peace. May he rest in peace. Him and his son that got killed to make you. Little powerful, little powerful was there. Me, powerful. Ike, fat born that you see. The other born uh, 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 um, from Brownsville House. The stick up kid born. Uh, 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 um, freedom. So you had a couple of cats, and then you had other dudes that was like from Nostra Nav. They always called Nostra Nav, and they rock, uh, like Gator and 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 um and Tislam and all these other cats from other parts of the borough of Fort Green. That they, they fuck with dudes from the bill because they like your Brownsville thorough. But then you had a lot of motherfuckers that was like your out them Brownsville niggas is grimy. Motherfucker, that's what you need to be to, to survive in the jungle. You understand what I'm saying? You can't be a motherfucker kitten. You you know a kitten walking around motherfucker pit bulls. You gotta be a pit. Act like a fucking pit bull. So anyway, man, yeah, that shit got ugly. And I can tell you some shit about motherfucking Comstock, man. When them niggas. Boy, you fresh to death. Comstock. Uh, great metal. 
was super crazy. And when shit pop off over there, I'm there. As soon as I get the calm stop from fixing the nigga at Woodburn, um, they got a riot going on with the Jamaicans, between the Jamaicans and the Latin Kings. I'm walking around the yard. I'm like, well, it's um, like 80 degrees. Why these motherfuckers got army jackets on? So um, my instincts tell me, like the same shit from HDM. It's hot outside. You, you go on the wreck and motherfuckers got coats, got jackets and shit on. Like, okay. That's the, that's the, um, hopefully if a motherfucker get hit, it'll stop the penetration. And, um, uh, man, the, the, the Latin Kings wind up, wind up linking up with the fucking Nietas. And all I see, so you know when the Jamaicans talking and, and he start waving his hand in the bummer cloud, it ain't gonna be too much talking after that, man. And so what happened then was, this was I think 95, 94. What happened then was, yo, Pa, how you got me going in like this? You all some bullshit, Pa. <laughs> you, <laughs> you are your bullshit. But um, yeah, that was crazy. They start popping, but the calm stop, it's a red box, right? It's a red box. Now, as you walk the yard, if you step in that red box, that's a fucking tier three. A tier three is the highest form of a, a disciplinary ticket. And a tier three can land your ass in solitary confinement. They say you're not supposed to step in the red box because when a riot break out, that's where they're going to shoot the first round at. So you got a a, 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 a a police up in the tower with an AR-15 at all times, watching everything to go down there. Comstock is like the belly, the belly, belly of the beast. People say Attica, Clinton. I think Comstock is, is first. Comstock is a spot where you fuck up and no other jail don't want you. Comstock, they send you there to Great Metal. All right? Now, mind you, I left a medium and they sent me bump my shit back up to a max A and bump me there. So it was like, if you, when that happened, you gotta stay there for at least nine months or whatever and chill and don't catch no tickets in order for them to bump you back down. Mind you, I didn't really give a fuck because I was like, yo, you know what? I, I prefer to be in the cell. And it's crazy to say that I prefer to be in the cell than in the dorm around a bunch of dudes. You understand what I'm saying? And um, I was there for a year and they wound up sending me across the street to the animal lessons. We call them animal lessons. Washington with the young boys. Like how his son went to the cat with the young boys, but you know, Brownsville, everywhere I go is Brownsville and Brownsville is strength. But we ain't gonna, I'm, I'm gonna leave that right now, man. I don't wanna keep going cause you gonna have me keep going, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah man. you laughing. You gonna have me keep going, bro. If I ain't cop out, I would have had 12 and a half to 25 like six times. I wouldn't even be here now. So at that time, they had um, all known and unknown. Anybody that go went through the system know that. But um, And then you had a lot of dudes that was listening to the jailhouse lawyers. Right? You go to law library and he tell you, no, nah, son, you could beat that. Ride it out. Right? Or take it to trial. Now, once you take it to trial, they tell you if you blow, and, and nah, you're going to give that back. How you going to give it back, nigga, when you take it to trial and you blow, you on a calendar. Now you on a calendar, so you might be waiting five, six, seven, eight years just to get back down to get a retrial. And that's not to say you're going to beat that. Well, you might be lucky, and they see error in the ways but it, it take bread to do that, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So you might get lucky if they see the error in your ways and give you a mistrial and say time serve and let you bounce. How many people you seen get that? All right then, you ain't even say nothing that, so we already know. So my thing was, I just rolled, matter of fact, see, cause I was on the island almost a year going back and forth to court, going back and forth to court. And I was like, yo, I'm, I'm getting off the bus. 
I'm getting, I wind up taking um seven or something, end up doing 11 out of that. Because every time I went to the board, they hit me with a deuce. Now, you got the same jailhouse lawyers in the law library. No, they're going to let you go next time, son, because you got, you got uh, life without violence. You got all you a facilitator. I said, okay. The next board, a deuce. Reason why, reason why they had a broad name, Buchanan, on the board. Anybody been up north know about Buchanan? She was Cuban. She come and sit. She was a commissioner. She sit there. It's three commissioners, and they sit there and they want to um ask you why do you feel like we should let you get back in society? So she look at my sis. She said, "Oh, you, you like doing robberies, huh?" You a stick-up kid, huh? So if you see me in the streets and you see me with my jewelry, you try to rob me too. She said, but the difference is I'll blow your fucking head off. Get the fuck out of get the fuck out of here. You ain't going home. That's exactly how she talked. And then there was another one that came behind her name, Holiday. But Buchanan was notorious. She had, she she tell you straight up, like, yo, listen, you ain't going home. Get the fuck out of here. She was at one of my boards. I got hit with two twice, but I see y'all. But she was at my first board, slayed me. Absolutely. So you know what I'm talking about. You know she don't play. She, like, all of them got to speak. But when she speak, she speak like, damn, like, you already going in there with your palms sweaty and all that. All that shit you rehearsed about and and, and <laughs> um, what I'm going to say, as soon as you get in front of them, they go right out the window. Um, Why do you feel we should let you go home? Cause I, I was good and I did my time. Okay. And then I get the decision and said menace. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, 73rd precinct. Thank you, 73rd precinct. Cause all you did was make me a better person today. 73rd precinct, sons of bitches. I know they wish I would be gone forever. Cause that's what the motherfucker told me. They had a dude in 73rd precinct called Desmond with the mustache. He ain't even robbery. He he homicide. He come take me out the cell. That's why I'm glad my shit, I don't have diarrhea at the mouth. Come take me out the cell. Talking about, um, you know, you ain't gonna see the streets no more. And I'm saying in my mind, like, that's not even up to you. That's up to the judge. Anyway, you wanna look at some books? Yeah, that's a 73rd dude. So now I see first 48 on TV. So that shit is real because cats be flapping their motherfucking gums when they get out. Some cats don't even wait till they get to the precinct. They doing that shit in the back of the police car. You know, everything ain't for everybody, man. If you ain't built, if you ain't built for it, then you're not going to um, be able to handle it, man. And it is what it is. I don't have cats tell me, yo, I was in the bullpen for two days and that was enough to make me not, um, I ain't gonna mention his name, but he's from Barcelona like us. He's like, man, I was in the bullpen two fucking days. And after that, I, I caught, uh, what's that shit, lost the phobia, I couldn't do it. I said, shit. And then I seen cats, it was doing they thing on the streets and went in there and couldn't even get on a motherfucking phone. And I'm like, yo, you, 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 and I see motherfuckers that niggas told that, um, no, you can't, on Sunday, if you ain't big homie, if you ain't homie, you can't get a piece of chicken. I wish you would deny me a piece of chicken, man. I'll bust your motherfucking dick. Yeah, man. You ain't denying me nothing, nigga. Only, only one could do that to take something from me, man. And, and, and if I let him take it, that's the, the, the fucking... CO, and only thing he could take is the little bit of freedom I have to move around the jail to put me in solitary confinement. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I get a piece of chicken. Yeah, niggas telling me you can't eat a piece of chicken, or you telling me, yo, I got, I got, um, I got six minutes on the phone. Nigga hung the phone up on me in Brooklyn House. I bust this fucking head with a mop ring. And I'm lucky I ain't get a new charge from that, but they wound up sending me to HCM. And that was the best thing they did, because now you sent me around lions. You sent the lion around lions. 
So I get over there, it's motherfuckers that I know from Fort Greene, because I used to be in Fort Greene, Cumberland Walk, Monument Walk, Fleet Walk. I was one of um one of the only, not just me, but maybe like four or five of us going to Westinghouse. I didn't go to Jeff, I went to George Westinghouse downtown. So at that time, it was an all boy high school, but Westinghouse was predominantly Farragut, Fort Greene, them cats. You had uh, 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 um, Trevor going there, which is Buster Rhymes. And you had uh, Jay-Z uh, um, in um, Westerhouse. But they was under me, but yeah. When Albee Square Mall was open. Yeah, but I'm stopping right there, Big Paul. <laughs> Yeah, and oh, you don't got the flick with me and um, uh, um, Freddie Fox up there? Nah, I don't see that. If you got that, send it to me. Yeah, that's a nap or not. I don't even have the flicks, man. I probably lost that shit. Yeah, and, and happy nap. I got it. And nap or not to New York with me and um, uh, uh, Bumpy Knuckles. You got it? All right, I'm, I'm over here with my cousin in the sky now. So when he sent it to me, I'm going to send that to you too. All right, my brother.